Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Meet me again on Agus Satyawan's channel. How are you all? Hopefully always healthy, good fortune, and keep the spirit. Sorry I haven't made a video in a long time because I'm busy in the real world. Don't forget those who haven't clicked the subscribe button, click on it right away. So that Agus Satyawan's channel can develop well. And don't forget to like, comment and share. Mesothelioma claims are legal actions that provide patients and asbestos exposure victims compensation to cover medical and other expenses. Mesothelioma and asbestos claims include lawsuits, asbestos trust fund claims, and benefits claims. If you or a loved one were diagnosed with mesothelioma, asbestos-related lung cancer, or asbestosis, you might be entitled to substantial compensation. Fill out our form to receive our free financial compensation packet. Our packet is loaded with information on experienced mesothelioma attorneys in your area, how to file a claim for asbestos trust funds, how to get paid in 90 days, and more. Free financial compensation packet Financial compensation packet info on law firms that will recover your highest compensation Learn how to get paid in 90 days File for your share of $30 billion in trust funds Send my free packet How do you file a claim for mesothelioma compensation Jump to a topic What is a mesothelioma claim? A mesothelioma claim is a legal action someone with mesothelioma takes to receive compensation. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer most often caused by asbestos exposure in the workplace. Because many workers had no idea of the risks of working with or around asbestos, they are now entitled to make claims for compensation if they get sick later. How does asbestos lead to mesothelioma claims? Asbestos is a mineral that many industries used for decades. It is made up of tiny fibers that easily become airborne, where workers inhale them. Once in the body, asbestos fibers cause damage that can lead to cancer and other illnesses. Not everyone exposed to asbestos needs to make a claim later because not all get sick. Those who do get sick face significant expenses and a shortened life expectancy. Asbestos exposure is the leading cause of mesothelioma, a rare but aggressive and deadly cancer. Most people who are now suffering from mesothelioma experienced asbestos exposure at work. Some of the heaviest use of asbestos occurred at military, shipping, and construction sites. Nearly all types of manufacturing and other types of industrial job sites used asbestos. The US government placed regulations on the use of asbestos in the 1970s. It also enacted laws to protect workers with safety training. Asbestos still lingers in many workplaces and older buildings, potentially causing more harm. The symptoms of asbestos illnesses often don't appear until decades after the exposure. Review of our services Nelly, my family will forever be grateful to you for your care, compassion, understanding and support during our crisis. Thank you for your words of comfort and encouragement, and for making it possible for us to gather with family and seek help without any worry about work responsibilities. You have such an exemplary and kind heart and we cannot thank you enough for all you did, and continue to do, to help us get through a difficult time. Who is eligible to file mesothelioma claims? If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to compensation. As a victim of asbestos exposure, you have a legal right to seek compensation and to file a claim against the company that exposed you to asbestos retain the services of an asbestos attorney seek compensation for costs incurred from your exposure to asbestos if you lost a loved one to mesothelioma, you might also be eligible to claim. The estates of people who passed away from asbestos diseases can also take legal action. What types of mesothelioma claims can I file? There are several types of claims you may be eligible to file as a victim of asbestos exposure. Rely on the advice of an experienced mesothelioma law firm or lawyer before deciding how, when, and where to file. Personal injury lawsuit companies that made and provided asbestos materials to your workplace are likely liable for the expenses related to getting sick. If you become ill because of asbestos exposure, you can file a personal injury lawsuit to claim compensation. 
In some cases, it also makes sense to sue a former employer in addition to asbestos manufacturers. Most personal injury asbestos lawsuits end in settlements, while a few go to trial and end in a jury verdict. Either way, you can claim compensation for past, present, and future medical expenses related to your illness past, present, and future, lost wages physical and emotional pain related to your illness you can claim for as much as you feel is fair, but ultimately what you receive comes down to negotiations or a jury verdict. An asbestos attorney has the experience to maximize damages recovered. Wrongful death claim if you lost a loved one to asbestos, you can file a wrongful death lawsuit to seek compensation for medical expenses associated with the illness funeral and burial expenses loss of consortium pecuniary damages, which include loss of financial support to dependents and spouses damages for loss of parental guidance damages for emotional and physical pain an example of a successful wrongful death lawsuit over asbestos is the family of a man named Gordon Bankhead. He died from mesothelioma at the age of 68 after asbestos exposure from decades of working on vehicles. Bankhead's widow and two daughters won $11 million from his employer Numo Abex, which made asbestos breaks. Asbestos Trust Fund claims some of the company's liable for asbestos exposure went through bankruptcy because of the costs of lawsuits. As part of the process, most had to create trust funds. They set up these funds to compensate future claimants with asbestos diseases. Insurance and disability claims regardless of who caused your exposure, you may be entitled to make benefits claims. For instance, if you have health insurance, you can claim for medical expenses. You may also have disability insurance to help cover lost income. Social Security Disability Insurance provides monthly benefits to people unable to work due to workplace injuries or illnesses. Veteran Benefits claims the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs VA, offers benefits to qualifying veterans. If you encountered asbestos during military service and later became ill, you may be eligible for benefits, disability compensation, special monthly compensation, and medical care at VA facilities. Which type of mesothelioma claim is right for me? This depends on eligibility requirements and your personal preferences. Some people don't want to file a mesothelioma lawsuit and only file asbestos trust claims. Others want to try for every claim for which they qualify. A lawyer experienced with asbestos lawsuits is most qualified to help you make this choice. Also, keep in mind that you may be eligible for more than one type of claim. How do I file a mesothelioma claim? The process varies depending on the type of claim. The best way to get started is to consult with an experienced asbestos attorney. A mesothelioma lawyer can explain your options and get you started on one or more claims. In general, you'll follow these steps when filing for mesothelioma compensation, investigations and evidence. This is just one important reason you need a law firm behind you. They have the resources to track down the source of your asbestos exposure and evidence that it caused your illness. Eligibility. With more information, your lawyer can determine which types of claim you can file. For instance, if you want VA benefits, you must be able to show that active service caused your exposure and illness. Filing the claim. With evidence in place and a decision on the types of claims you can file, your lawyer will file a lawsuit on your behalf, notifying the defendants and beginning the claim. Settlement or trial. If you file a lawsuit, your lawyer will negotiate with the defendant's legal teams to get you a fair settlement. If this process fails, they can take your case to trial to seek compensation from a jury award. Review of claims. For a trust fund or benefit claims, there is no settlement or trial. Instead, the appropriate agency will review your claim and make a decision. Compensation. By the end of the process, you should be awarded compensation. Your lawyer will follow up and make sure you receive it. Is it worth filing a claim? The process may seem daunting and overwhelming, but the benefits are well worth the effort with the right lawyer guiding you. Mesothelioma is a costly disease, and getting funds is essential for many victims. Compensation from a claim covers, 
medical bills, future medical and care expenses, home healthcare workers lost wages when you can no longer work, support for dependence therapy and support for mental health issues, how much compensation can I get from mesothelioma claims? Mesothelioma claims are worth varying amounts depending on the situation. An asbestos attorney can reasonably estimate what defendants owe you. They cannot make promises or guarantees. The average amount claimants of asbestos trust funds receive is $180,000. Settlements for personal injury and wrongful death lawsuits average between $1 million and $1.4 million. Jury verdict awards are higher but can also result in no compensation. How much you may receive depends on many factors. The severity of your illness, the number of defendants, the extent of your asbestos exposure, your medical expenses and expected future costs, lost wages, number of dependents, and intangible costs like pain and suffering. How long does an asbestos claim take? The time it takes to resolve a claim depends on the type and how complicated it is. Many people receive compensation within a few months. A lawsuit potentially takes the most time. If it goes to trial, it can take years to resolve. When should I file a mesothelioma claim? You must begin the claims process as soon as possible. Every state sets a statute of limitations for asbestos lawsuits, and you have to file within this time limit. The statute that applies to your case may be the state where you worked. A lawyer who works in your state will determine where and when to file. Alabama, two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Alaska two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Arizona two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Arkansas three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute California one year from diagnosis or one year from death for wrongful death statute Colorado two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Connecticut, three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute Delaware, two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute District of Columbia, three years from diagnosis or one year from death for wrongful death statute Florida, four years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Georgia, Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Hawaii. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Idaho. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Illinois. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Indiana. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Iowa. 2 years from diagnosis or 2 years from death for wrongful death statute Kansas. 2 years from diagnosis or 2 years from death for wrongful death statute Kentucky. 1 year from diagnosis or 1 year from death for wrongful death statute Louisiana. 1 year from diagnosis or 1 year from death for wrongful death statute Maine. 6 years from diagnosis or 2 years from death for wrongful death statute Maryland. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Massachusetts. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Michigan. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Minnesota. 4 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Mississippi. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Missouri. 5 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Montana. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute Nebraska. 4 years from diagnosis or 2 years from death for wrongful death statute Nevada. 2 years from diagnosis or 2 years from death for wrongful death statute New Hampshire. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute New Jersey. 2 years from diagnosis or 2 years from death for wrongful death statute New Mexico. 3 years from diagnosis or 3 years from death for wrongful death statute New York. 
Three years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute North Carolina. Three years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute North Dakota. Six years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Ohio. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Oklahoma. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Oregon. Three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute Pennsylvania. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Rhode Island. Three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute South Carolina. Three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute South Dakota. Three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute Tennessee. One year from diagnosis or one year from death for wrongful death statute Texas. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Utah. Three years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Vermont. Three years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Virginia. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Washington. Three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute West Virginia. Two years from diagnosis or two years from death for wrongful death statute Wisconsin. Three years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute Wyoming. Four years from diagnosis or three years from death for wrongful death statute FAQs about asbestos and mesothelioma claims 1. Do I need a mesothelioma lawyer to file a claim? You do not have to hire a lawyer, but it is strongly recommended. Lawsuits are complex and require expert knowledge for the best outcome. The defendants have powerful legal teams that will fight to deny you compensation. 2. Can family members file claims on behalf of living mesothelioma patients? Yes, family members can file claims on behalf of the mesothelioma victim if they are very sick. Family members may be eligible for damages as well, including compensation in the event of wrongful death. 3. Who actually pays the compensation if I win? The manufacturer, business, or business owner responsible for asbestos exposure pays the claim. This may be one or more companies. 4. How can a lawyer prove I was exposed to asbestos decades ago? Asbestos lawyers have experience investigating companies and asbestos use, even from decades ago. They understand the process of finding information on asbestos exposure regardless of how much time has elapsed. 5. How much compensation am I entitled to? There is no specific formula for the amount of compensation any individual will get, but companies have already paid billions. There are variables to consider, such as your health and how long you've been sick. 6. What is the average payout for mesothelioma claims? In mesothelioma cases, the average settlement amount is between $1 and $1.4 million. Asbestos trust fund claims are usually less, while verdicts in jury trials are often much more. 7. I was exposed to asbestos, but I have not been diagnosed with an asbestos-related disease. Do I have any legal options? Laws for filing an asbestos-related lawsuit vary according to state. While some states allow people to file at any time, other states require that victims be diagnosed with an asbestos-related disease first. The best option is to consult with an experienced mesothelioma lawyer in your state. In the meantime, talk to your doctor about your exposure and getting screened for cancer and lung diseases. 8. How long does an asbestos lawsuit take to reach a conclusion? The amount of time it takes depends on individual factors. However, some lawsuits have been settled within a few months, while others have taken a few years. 9. Can I file for punitive damages in a wrongful death claim? Some states may allow you to file for punitive damages, but most states do not. Your lawyer will help you understand what you can and cannot recover. 10. Can I file a wrongful death claim even if my spouse didn't start a personal injury claim before they died? Most states allow spouses and dependents to file a wrongful death claim even if the victim never started a personal injury claim. Remember, however, that you need to refer to your state's statute of limitations associated with wrongful death cases. 
getting help with your claim remember to fill out our form to get your free financial compensation packet with information on experienced asbestos and mesothelioma lawyers in your area for additional assistance contact us at 800-793-4540 paul danziger page reviewed and edited by mesothelioma attorney paul danziger paul danziger grew up in houston Texas and earned a law degree from Northwestern University School of Law in Chicago. For over 25 years years he has focused on representing mesothelioma cancer victims and others hurt by asbestos exposure. Paul and his law firm have represented thousands of people diagnosed with mesothelioma, asbestosis, and lung cancer, recovering significant compensation for injured clients. Every client is extremely important to Paul and he will take every call from clients who want to speak with him. Paul and his law firm handle mesothelioma cases throughout the United States. Full bio and contact info references https colon slash slash www.prweb.com slash releases slash 2014 slash 01 slash proweb 1149752.htm https colon slash slash www.epa.gov slash asbestos slash learn dash about dash asbestos https colon slash slash www.osha.gov slash sltc slash asbestos slash construction dot html https colon slash slash www.va.gov slash disability slash eligibility slash hazardous dash materials dash exposure slash asbestos slash https colon slash slash www.va.gov slash service dash member dash benefits slash https colon slash slash www.epa.gov slash asbestos slash asbestos dash laws dash and dash regulations https colon slash slash www.batesweight.com slash media slash pnc slash five slash media dot two eight five dot pdf view all references free financial compensation packet financial compensation packet info on law firms that will recover your highest compensation learn how to get paid in 90 days file for your share of 30 billion dollars in trust funds first name last name phone email diagnosis select any information you send is secure and will never be sold or released who are experienced asbestos attorneys in my area city state select state first name last name phone diagnosis select any information you send is secure and will never be sold or released calculate case value diagnosis select is diagnosed person alive select age of diagnosed person select exposure select main job site select main asbestos product used select first name last name phone state select state any information you send is secure and will never be sold or released mesothelioma lawyers by state alabama birmingham huntsville alaska anchorage fairbanks arizona phoenix arkansas little rock california fresno los angeles sacramento san diego san francisco colorado denver connecticut waterbury delaware wilmington florida fort lauderdale jacksonville lake city miami pensacola tampa georgia atlanta hawaii honolulu idaho illinois aurora chicago indiana gary iowa des moines kansas kansas city kansas kentucky lexington louisiana baton Rouge, New Orleans, Maine, Portland, Maine, Maryland, Annapolis, Baltimore, Massachusetts, Boston, Michigan, Detroit, Kalamazoo, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Mississippi, Jackson, Rally, Mississippi, Missouri, Kansas City, Montana, Libby, Nebraska, Omaha, Nevada, Las Vegas, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Jersey City, Newark, New Mexico, Albuquerque, New York, Buffalo, New York City, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Dakota, Ohio, Cleveland, Columbus, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oregon, Eugene, Portland, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Chattanooga, Memphis, Texas, Austin, Corpus Christi, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Utah, Salt Lake City, Vermont, Virginia, Norfolk, Richmond, Washington, Seattle, Washington, D.C., West Virginia, Charleston, Wisconsin, Green Bay, Milwaukee, Wyoming, Cheyenne, click to close video navigation, home legal options, mesothelioma veterans, asbestos settlements, week one, who we help, reviews of our services, about us, blog, contact information, office address, 1225. 5 North Loop West Houston, 
Texas 77008 handling mesothelioma cases nationwide call to learn about getting your best possible financial compensation 800-793-4540 follow us mesothelioma lawyer center or BBB business review sponsor Paul Danziger attorney Houston Texas the information provided by mesotheliomaloicenter.org is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Disclaimer Privacy Policy Editorial Standards Contact Us Copyright 2022